there guys, it's Tina and I am back and I am makeup and chilling with you guys today. Huh, I wanted to be a distraction for you guys and since we're doing the socially responsible thing by staying home and isolating ourselves, social distancing, we're practicing that right to keep our world safe because a lot is going on right now and you need a distraction. So what better way to do that than to talk about really frivolous things, mindless things that you don't really even have to think about. They're just pretty things to look at, right? We're talking about my makeup collection. I have been staying away from doing a makeup collection video for years now. Like I have not done a makeup collection in how long? I don't even know. It's been a while and I thought, hmm, since we're all home, this is like the perfect time to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. So I'm strictly gonna go through what's behind me, what you see in my background for each video. We're gonna go through the clear containers on top, those acrylic containers, and we're also gonna go through the drawers on the bottom. And yeah, we're gonna just have a good time. So if you wanna see my makeup collection part uno of 2020, then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. a look at the acrylic drawer system in the middle of my collection or my setup and these consist of two large beauty boxes from the original beauty box these are no longer available these were the pro beauty boxes that have two extremely large drawers which I can fit products standing up we have a medium sized drawer and then two thinner, smaller drawers that I can fit lip products in. And then on top I have eight small slim drawers from the container store and I will link these down below. These are individual drawers that are stackable so they stack easily on top of each other. And then of course I have a few accoutrements, some decorative pieces and some skincare items at the very top of the collection. So very quickly I'll just talk about what's sitting on top of the drawers. So first we have the little cruelty free bunny from covergirl when they went cruelty free they sent me a package and the little cruelty free bunny was included i thought that was cute so i keep it up here i also have my candle from the christian audet and mel thompson collection this was sent in the pr box i've burnt it a little bit but i'm keeping this as a nice souvenir on the top of my collection <laughs> I have this decorative sand through the hourglass. This is from Home Goods. It's just decorative. No reason that it's there. I just thought it was aesthetically pleasing. We have a little flower because you know you need a flower to like balance everything and make it feminine. And I have my face paint book, The Story of Makeup by Lisa Eldridge. This is one of her books that she released and it's speaking about the history of makeup and she goes through a lot of her collection and the pieces that she's collected throughout the decades. And I have this here because it's decorative. In the back I have two of these brush holders. They are mirrored and beautiful and they have three sections so they're divided. I got this at Home Goods again so I have two of these. They're very heavy and these contain my extra brushes. And here's the second one again with extra face brushes. On top I also have some skincare. So this is from Ole Henriksen, Hodoli, my Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Duo, Bioderma Makeup Remover, my Tatcha Skin Mist, some serums from Caudalie and Pharmacy and then a couple more from Murad and Peter Thomas Ross. So that's everything on top Let's go ahead and dive into the drawers and in these drawers. I mainly have lip products so these drawers are ideal for storing lip products because they're very thin so the lip products can lay flat and I can see all the colors and then for the larger drawers I can actually store some of my lip products standing up as you can see that way I can see the lip swatches and the name of the shade at the very top and this is a great way to organize lip products and readily grab for them at any time. So I'll go ahead and grab one of the smaller drawers and I actually want to show you guys the sizing of these so you can get an idea of what can fit in here. 
So as you can see, the drawer is pretty shallow, so you can't store any thick products in here. They won't fit, but it's ideal for lip products because they can lay flat. And the beauty about acrylic drawers is that you can see through them, so you can see exactly what products you have inside. And then we have the little pull at the front, so you can pull out the drawer and see all the products laid out. So in this drawer I have my NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments and a couple of the lip glosses and then this limited edition Brooke Candy. I think this was one of their high pigment lip glosses and again it's easy to access. They fit right here and I can slide them back and forth. I can even fit another shade right here if I wanted to. Let's do a couple of quick swatches for a few of these shades. This one is Wild Night. Oh, this one is Light My Fire. So they're a thin, like almost watery formula with great pigmentation. This is Painted Black. Nice. This one is Slow Ride. Love it. And this one is Done It Again, which is a dark brown. You know I have to do a dark brown, right? I need to use these more. And again, these drawers are stackable, so they're easy to just stack on top of each other, and you have various sizes of depth, so you can get the larger drawers, but it's the same width, so they'll stack on each other easily. So then, moving on, let's see what else we have here. So in this drawer, I have my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. These are really beautiful and they're color coded so it's easy to see what color you're pulling out. They have beautiful nude shades, they have fun pops of color, they have reds. I had more shades but I got rid of the ones that I wasn't interested in. So I just have the beautiful nudes and some pops of color that are really beautiful to work with. I feel like we should go ahead and swatch a couple of these. This is shade 105 Explorer. This is a beautiful creamy blue. It's like a deep blue with a hint of purple. This shade is Huntress, which is the creamy gray. Oh, stunning! This orangey brown is Globetrotter. Isn't that, oh God, that's so good. Beautiful. And this bright orangey red is Heroin. As in the female version of Hero, not like Heroin, like you're yeah, listen, just don't don't do drugs kids. Let's do this purple which is originator. Oh Yeah, oh yeah, give it to me. It's like a dark berry purple and then this caramelly brown is Fighter That's really beautiful too. It's like a mustard brown actually and then to round it out. Let's do the pink which is romantic Then I have my Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipsticks here. This company is no longer Makeup Monsters, it's now Menagerie Cosmetics. So in case you're curious, like, where what happened to these? Can I get these still? I think Menagerie is now working on releasing their liquid lipsticks in the same formulation, just under the different company name. But these are the shades that I picked up before they changed the name. And I have a couple of my Ofra Liquid Lipsticks and one Wet n Wild Lipstick that is a like a Christmas green color. That's really pretty. As for these, I don't know if Menagerie Cosmetics is gonna release these exact shades under the new company name, but this formulation is one of my favorites. It's a really great liquid lipstick formula. But then again, I don't know how many of us are still into liquid lipsticks. Yeah, this was before we switched over now to lip glosses and more um, bullet lipsticks. Let's swatch a couple of these shades too, just for fun. Again, I don't know if they're gonna release these in their new lineup, but this green one is Juniper. Look at that, that is so fun. This blue one is Wipeout. Oh wow, that's great. This nude one is Just Add Marshmallows. Oh my god, why are these so good? I hope they do come back out with these because these are stunning. Look at this fun, like, gray town shade, which is grim. Right? Oh my god, come on! Menagerie, come back with it. This one is Synth. Is that Synth? How is it pronounced? Sith? Sith? I don't know. It's a teal. 
Oh my god, loving it. And I kept a black one from Ofra, which is called The Bronx, because it's The Bronx and because it's also black, which this one is actually one of my favorite formulations of a black liquid lipstick. It was really pigmented, it was true black, so I kept it for that reason. And then of course I always keep a brown, plus it's a Brooklyn, which that's where I kind of grew up when, not grew up, but that's where I lived when I just came to New York. So who wasn't gonna keep that? Oh, let me swatch the one from Wet n Wild as well. This was limited edition again for Christmas. It's the shade Emerald Envy. Nice. Then we have my favorite liquid lipstick formula of all time. These are the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains. I love these. I did a full swatch video of all these shades that I have. They're beautiful. These are more of the wearable neutral shades. So there's a huge collection here and I absolutely love them and they're long lasting as in the longevity in my collection because they haven't gone bad. Meanwhile, the majority of my Smashbox liquid lipsticks have gone bad. Smashbox makes one of my favorite formulas, but they go bad very quickly. They dry out into this powdery finish while my Sephora lip stains, they're still creamy, they're still moist, they don't smell funky, they're great. And then I have a couple of their Rouge Lacquers. These are really beautiful lipsticks. So they have the bullets like this, really beautiful, but they're like a sheer balmy finish. They're ultra glossy, really beautiful. They give this great like popsicle look to the lips. I love these. So if you want to see swatches of these on the lips, I will link the video over here so you can check these out. Here we have the rest of my cream lip stains from Sephora. These are the colorful ones, bright, bold, fun colors. We even have a green, like I love this deep green, it's so pretty. Then we have like a teal shade, a few pinks, some purples, hello, and even the black. I love this formula, like I said. Again, check out the swatch video if you wanna see more of these shades. Then we have my NARS lip glosses. Yes, so we have all different shades here. I have shimmery ones, cream finishes. I have the clear version. These ones in the all black tubes, these are their lip covers, which is a more pigmented version of their lipsticks. Actually, I have, let me organize these a little bit. Since technically these two can also fit there and we have them all together. Perfect. So let's go ahead and swatch the lip covers. Let me carry this all blood clot. This shade is members only. This is get dirty. This shade is overheated. And this is do not disturb. For the lip glosses we have super orgasm. When's the last time y'all had one of those? <laughs> <laughs> what the mix up What did you say? This is Dolce Vita. This is Wonder, Eternal Red, Priscilla, Salaman Salamanca, what? Salamanca? I don't, listen, I don't know where that comes from. Salamanca. And this last one is Super Vixen. Then we have my Kylie Matte Lipsticks and some of her glosses and her lip pencils in this drawer. I absolutely love this liquid lipstick formula as well. As much as I want to fight it, I love her liquid lipsticks. They're thin, they're lightweight, they're pigmented, and they wear well without drying out the lips. I love this. And I know a lot of people want to compare these to ColourPop. It's not the same formula. ColourPop liquid lipsticks, those matte ones, oh, they're awful. They're so awful. Like, I, it's like paint peeling off your lips. They're just Disgusting. These though, I really love these and I have a couple of her glosses like I said But I have some nude shades from her and then some fun colorful shades and then her lip pencils are also pretty good So I got a couple of them in the lip kits watch her now the But I have like a couple of them in the lip kits so like more purple. Oh, there we go So like the purple shades that match. Oh my god love these Let's swatch a couple of these as well really quickly this is Grape Soda, which I thought was a really unique, like, cool purple shade. Like, look at that. It's like a gray-toned purple. 
it's almost like gray but with a little bit of like a hint of purple to it and this is the liner that goes with it this one is wicked and these have not dried out at all it's still like very liquidy and creamy this one is court k this is mary Jo k this one is pumpkin which I, I love all the any one of these like mustardy orangey browns I kind of have to get this is true brown K this one is moon that's like a really cool tone brown for me like that would blank out my lips here's a gloss this one is like I hate this little brush applicator but that's a stunning nude gloss and then lip liners this one is spice this one is Moon to go with that nude. That's perfect, actually. This one is Love Bite. And then the last one is Brown Sugar. And then we have my Juvia's Place Liquid Lipsticks. And I know what you're thinking. Wait, what, who? I have a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. <gasps> it, my God. So I actually got this from someone. Someone gave it to me and I, I kept it as reference. This is the Velour liquid lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood. And I kept it to compare formulations. So I still have that. And then I have a Lime Crime liquid lipstick too. I'd stopped purchasing from Lime Crime, but this is the shade Salem, which is one of their signature shades. Kept it for reference as well. And then I have one from The Bomb Cosmetics. This is their Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. I hate this so much. This is the shade Adoran. It's a pretty color, but I kept this for formula reference as well. I don't love that formula because it tingles. It has like a peppermint thing to it. it. It don't feel good on the lips, let me tell you. But yeah, the Juvia's Place lipsticks got them in sets. So we have shimmery finishes and matte ones. This is also a pretty nice formula for the price too. So really like these. For these, let's do some quick swatches. So we have Lulu. And this is the matte version. This is a Freak Soil. Oh my god, that's stunning. Moro. Again, another stunning shade. That's the matte version. Here's the metallic. And here's Yoko matte. And the Yoko metallic. The metallic shades aren't really shimmery or sparkly. They're more of like a shiny finish. They don't look like really metallic and frosty. Now we can move on to the beauty boxes. So like I said, these are one piece boxes. So you can't separate these at all. They just come as they are. And these are no longer available and these were the largest sizes that the original beauty box had available. I really like the quality of these and I'm just sad that they're no longer available. But I use the top two drawers of each of these to organize lip products because again, they can lay flat and they're easy to organize. So let's start over here actually. So here I'm just going to allow you to take this in. Isn't that, look how pretty this is, right? So some of my favorite liquid lipsticks again. So we have the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks. I love these. I kept a ton of their neutral shades. I actually got rid of quite a few of these shades. I will link my swatch video over here so you can check it out. But I got rid of a ton of these shades that just weren't flattering for me. I just kept the shades that I thought were nice on my skin tone. So we have neutral shades, more colorful shades. We have some of their holiday collection shades. Like this one is the gingerbread one. And we have this one, which is a candy cane one. Beautiful. We have some fun colors as well, like a blue and a green and a bright purple. Really pretty. And then down here, I have my Galactic Beauty liquid lipsticks. I love these. I don't even know if Girlactic is still around. Are they still available? All I know is I love their liquid matte formula. It's so amazing. It was very pricey. But when I tell you these were some of my favorite liquid lipsticks, I, listen. And then their glosses too are fantastic. So I have nude glosses and then I have the colorful and nude lipsticks here. And look how nicely this is organized. It, it, it gives me feelings, right? And then over here I have two Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks as well. Eh! I don't know that I hate them. I don't know that I love them. They're j I just never really like gravitated towards them. I don't even know if she still makes these. You let me know, but isn't this satisfying to look at? Look at this. Oh my God. 
Here's another very satisfying drawer. I mean, look at how organized this is. I love this. So these are my liquid lipsticks from Colored Rain. They have shimmery ones, which I keep up top. And then they have the matte formula. And I've organized these with the neutrals, moving into like the darker shades and more colorful shades. And of course we have the fun shades up top, like I said. And then also in this drawer, I have my Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks from L'Oreal, along with their Infallible Pro Matte Glosses, which I absolutely love this formulation. It's really lightweight, but they're shiny, but they give the finish and the color payoff of a liquid lipstick. So I really love this formulation and they're available in the drugstore store but isn't this beautiful again to look at look oh my god love it and then we have one of my favorite drawers. I recently curated this one. So this drawer is an assortment of liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. At the very bottom, I have a selection of my favorite neutral nudie lip glosses. Of course, over here I have my Pat McGrath lip glosses. This has got to be my favorite lip gloss formula and I have the shades that I've collected that I absolutely love. We have a Lancome lip lacquer. We have a couple from Marc Jacobs. And then this one I got in a boxy charm. It's from Odessa, New York. Odessa. And then I have up here Persona lip glosses, a couple from MAC, and then what's left of my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. Mainly the ones that I would reach for, the neutral colors and then a couple pops of color. And one from Inglot and Jennifer Lopez. So my favorite glosses are from Pat McGrath. These are the Lust Glosses, and I have a few shades. So this is Flesh 6, this is Flesh Astral, this is Flesh Fantasy, this is Bronze Temptation, and that's For Real. These are three Dose of Colors lipsticks. I'm not sure what this formulation is called, but they're in this tube, and it's a twist up. But it has that shape of a bullet. Does it go down? Yep. And the three shades I have is Fudge, Mocha, and Cinnamon Swirl. Here are my Laura Geller lip glosses that I absolutely love. Here are the three shades. So we have Cookie Dough, Rosy Tart, and Sugar Cane. And then this beautiful nude is from Dose of Colors and it's the shade Seriously. I love that nude. It's so, oh my god, it's so perfect. Then these are the Persona glosses that a lot of you guys recommended. You said these were awesome. I don't love this, I'm sorry, but the, yeah, it's they're decent, but they're not like my favorite. So this is peach, this is honey, and then this is toffee. Then in this drawer, I have my lippy sticks from ColourPop, and you can see the shades right here, which is why I kind of stack them on top of each other, because if you're looking for a shade, you would see it on the label on the bottom. And then I have some of their Ultra Satin Lips and their lip glosses. I don't like their Ultra Matte Lips, so I got rid of all of those. This used to be full of their Ultra Mattes. I just don't like them, so I got rid of them. So this is all ColourPop. Moving down to the larger drawers, we have lip pencils and a couple of lip glosses from Too Faced and then my highlighters from Kaleidos Cosmetics because they didn't fit anywhere else and this was just an empty space. So I put them right here in this drawer. So inside this drawer, I have a couple of layers. So I have trays that I also got from the container store. These are pencil trays from their desk organization section and I literally use them to organize my lip pencils. So I have quite a few brands in here. I have the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 lip pencils and I have various shades of them as you can see. I have one from Dose of Colors which matches one of their lipsticks. This is the shade Snappy. Really nice and then I have a couple from the Gwen Stefani collection from Urban Decay and I kind of separated them so I have red pencils like red lip pencils on this side and then I have a couple from Flower Beauty in here. The Flower Beauty lip pencils are actually pretty nice as well so I'm hanging on to those and I have this one red pencil from KVD Beauty as well. 
Under that, I have my KVD Beauty Liquid Lipstick. These were my favorite liquid lipstick formula, and I collected quite a few of the shades. I have some of the newer shades, some of the older shades, and I know the majority of these have probably gone bad. Let's actually open one and see. This actually looks pretty good still. Let's sniff it. And it smells like Crayola crayons, but not like a really rancid smell. So, hmm, not bad, but I have the red shades. I have a gray shade, a purple, like I have all the shades you could think of. I didn't collect all of them because I'd given up on collecting them all. And this drawer actually came with a divider that you can use to separate different sections of the drawer. So I use that, it comes in pretty handy. And then on the other side, I have another tray. It's the same tray. And this one has my nude lip pencils. So I have a few from KVD Beauty. And I absolutely love these pencils. These are really good pencils, believe it or not. I have a couple from Charlotte Tilbury, which are the darker shades. I have a few from Makeup Forever that they had sent to me when they released their new lip liner collection. Again, I have a Gwen Stefani one from Urban Decay. These are just all neutral and nude shades, a lot of browns. I have more KVD. I have a couple from Huda. I have Lipstick Queen. I just have a ton of different nudie pencils over here. I separate, as you can see, my nudes from my colorful liners, and this is an easy way to just pick and choose what I need. Over here, I have a couple of the melted latex from Too Faced. These are the really thick lip glosses that they released. And I have a few shades of these. So this one is I'm Bossy. Then we have Can't Touch This. I have the clear one, which is Girl on Top. And then a deep brown one, which is Bite Me. These are actually pretty nice. So I just don't have anywhere else to store them, so I store them right there since it's an empty spot. And then I have my highlighters from Kaleidos Cosmetics. And I did a full review and swatch video of all of these. So if you want to check that out, I will link it over there. But these are their Space Age highlighters. So this is Star Surfer. And they have different packaging for each of the shades. So Comet Catcher. And then if you want to see the other shades and the swatches, just check out the video as I mentioned. Then here we have some more liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. There are a lot of formulas in this. This is one of my favorite drawers too. I have some of my favorite colors in this drawer. Some nudes. I have Dose of Colors Marc Jacobs. There's an assortment of different formulations and brands in this drawer. I have another one of the pencil organizers from the container store here. And this is where I keep all my NARS. These are the Velvet Lip Glides. Like this one is Orgasm, which is just one of their signature shades. It's a really shiny, glittery, like peachy gold glitter gloss. Then we have like this beautiful cool brown shade, which is Mars. That's a beautiful one. And these are like really beautiful, moussey lip glosses that aren't really drying on the lips, but they're super glossy, but they don't slide around too much. This one is Red District, which is a beautiful cool tone red. So the ones with the silver top are their full vinyl lip lacquers so this is valencia so the difference between these and the velvet lip glides is that these are a little bit more pigmented they're more like a lacquer than a gloss all right so that's in this tray here but underneath that i have other lip products so on this side i have my dose of colors lipsticks liquid lipsticks so like this shade is kiss of fire it's a beautiful like raspberry red. It's gorgeous. I know a lot of people like the Dose of Colors lip liquid lipstick. It's not my favorite formula, but I do like it enough. Some of the shades are a bit dry. And this one is Black Rose. This one is Cork. That one is a beautiful like caramelly nude. That's stunning. Oh my god. This pink one is Wild Child which is, oh, that's so 
thick but so pretty. This creamy pink one is Pinky Promise. But I love having my Dose of Colors lipsticks, just liquid lipsticks, just lined out here. Then I have some of my Sephora Luster Matte Glosses. Now, they're not glosses, they're lip colors. I shouldn't say glosses. So, these are such a great formula. Alright, so the red one is called Scarlet Luster. These are like creamy lip products. I love their cream stains, but these are also really nice. They're pigmented, but they're more glossy than like a matte finish. This one is Magenta Luster. So they're really beautiful colors. I love these so much and I think they're still around. So this is a really great formula to check out. Then I have my glosses from Bare Minerals. I think these are their Gen Nude glosses and Gen Nude um, lip colors, like their liquid lipsticks. This one is called Scandal. It's a matte liquid lipstick. And then this gloss is Tantalize. Really beautiful glosses. I know a lot of people love their lip glosses. Then on the other side, I have my Marc Jacobs lip glosses, which I love. So I have just a couple of shades because these are expensive, but they make pretty decent glosses. This one is their Call Me. So it's an enamored lip gloss. Like, look at this beautiful orange. I love oranges like this, so I had to pick that shade up. This shade is Work It. Again, another like cool tone brown. Remember when cool tone browns were a thing? Yeah. Then this one is Love Drunk. This one is a beautiful nude as well. This Marc Jacobs gloss is Lust for Lacquer and it's in the shade Boom Boom. This is just a beautiful like purpley magenta shade. I, I can't say enough because I just love these. And then I have my lip oils from YSL. I wonder if these are still good. So these lip oils were like one of my staples for summertime, but I've had them for a few years at this point and they still smell pretty good. So I have quite a few shades of those. Of course, I have my Il Maquillage Liquid Lipsticks. These are their Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Creams. I love these. This formulation is it, okay? This is Matte Storm. This is such a great formula. This is the dark brown. You know I have to get a dark brown in most formulations. Dark brown, they're red, and maybe a nude is what I go for. The red is called Matte Geisha. I'd asked if Geisha was a problematic word to be using, and people were like, no, it's not. But then, so why was Geisha, what was that blush from... Fenty that was called Geisha Chic or thing and people went berserk over that so which is right this shade is matte trouble but that's this drawer then this drawer here contains tube lipsticks so I can store them standing up as you can see and they go right around and as you can see it's easy to see them in this drawer standing up so we have labels on top that give the shade names and I've just organized them the best way they fit in this drawer so we have a ton of Pat McGrath lipsticks in here. These are the matte trance lipsticks from Pat McGrath. I did a full swatch video of these, so I will link it over there so you can check it out. But these are, they're interesting, they're pretty, but to be honest, they're not worth the price to me because what ended up happening with these, they're hard to store first of all, but what I found is that the tubes actually ended up breaking off in, t in the tube itself and I couldn't like twist it up anymore. But you know, they're still very pretty shades. So this one is Elsin and the pink one is Extravaganza. So I just have them standing up in the front of the drawer and I have a divider here that I got from the container so I'm not gonna take it out. But these help to keep them standing up in place. So without this divider, the lipsticks would just go falling all over the place. But this keeps them kind of pushed against each other and they stay standing up. I have quite a few of my Urban Decay lipsticks over here. So this one is from the Gwen Stefani collection. It's Firebird, but this is a permanent shade. I have quite a few because they sent these to me. This one is Phone Call. It's a share. Isn't that pretty? 
This one is Lawbreaker, another sheer. I do like their sheer lipsticks because they give a pop of color, but they're not too intense on the lips. They have metalized ones as well. So this one is, which one is this one? Heat. This went with the Naked Heat palette. And I have them standing on the outside, but I, again, I have them pushed together so they kind of fit. These are the lipsticks from the Audette, Christian Audette collection with Mel Thompson. So this shade is Beauty, which is her nude. Very light on my skin tone, you can't even see it, right? But I did a swatch video for these as well. Then I have some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipsticks. These, this one is Plumarella. These are very dry mattes, like they drag on the skin, but they're very long lasting and they're relatively beautiful. So this is Ruby, which is a red shade. But they tug a lot and they're very dry, so just be careful with these if you're interested in trying them out. Then I have some from KKW Beauty. This is Nude 7. This is a beautiful nude. I think this formulation is fantastic, actually. So kudos to Kim for these. And then it's interesting that the Becca lip tubes look the same. Like, the packaging is very similar, but they have a silver insert versus a gold. And this one is called their Lush Lip Color Bomb. This is the shade Black Violet. So these are color bombs, meaning they just have a tint, but they're kind of a sheer finish. And then I have other formulations. Like, I have some Bite Beauty lip sticks these are the cashmere lip creams so this one for instance is moscato Ooh, dry i can probably get rid of that these are a more natural formula so the preservatives are very limited so i'm gonna get rid of those that's that was easy and then i have like a couple of the luxe lipsticks from ColourPop that are in their boxes we have the lisa eldridge lipsticks this is velvet jazz these are stunning, and I think these are better than the Pat McGrath kind of velvet matte formula. And these still break, so it's like a trade-off. The formulation is very fragile, but they're stunning shades. I also have my Bite Beauty tube lipsticks. Let's see how these are faring. So this one is Whiskey, which is a dark brown. Okay, that's still doing well. This one is Kale, which is a dark green. They'd release some fun colors for these, but I think they have discontinued all their lipsticks and they're changing the formulation. So it's gonna be a little bit different moving forward, if I'm not mistaken. This is Pickled Ginger. Look how stunning that is, that's so pretty. Then I have my NARS lipsticks. So these are their Audacious lipsticks. I remember when these just released, everybody went crazy and I mean, these are years and years old, but they still apply very smoothly. They're very creamy and they don't smell funky at all. So this one is the shade Grace. Dominique is one that everybody chased because it's like that cool tone purple and people went nuts. I don't know why people were going nuts, but it was like out of stock for a long time. And then I have my Marc Jacobs lipsticks as well. So this is the J'adore which is one of my favorite nudes. Still creamy, doesn't smell funky at all. This is Role Play, which was one of my favorite nudes as well. It's a much lighter nude. This one is Eat Cake, which is such a fun summer color because it's so light. I also have a YSL matte stain. I thought this was such a stunning color, like that burnt red orange is perfect. It's shade number nine in their matte stains. Then this bottom drawer here contains more of my tube lipsticks, my bullet lipsticks, and my taller lipsticks that I can have standing up so you can see the labels on the bottom with the names and probably the shades. Not all of them have matching color-coded labels, but a lot of them do. Okay, so I have Urban Decay lipsticks here. I have ones from ColourPop and more Urban Decay. I have Oma Beauty here and I did a full swatch video. I will link that over there as well because I'm not gonna swatch any of those. I did a full swatch video of the ColourPop ones as well so I will link that over there and also down below because I'm not gonna go through these but these are Urban Decay, ColourPop and Oma Beauty. Then on this side, I have my Fenty Lip Balms. So these are their gloss balms. 
These are stunning. Who doesn't love these? I'm not going to swatch them, but you know, I have the chocolate, hot chocolate. This one is Fenty Glow. This one is Fussy. I have the clear one, which is Glass Slipper, and then I have Diamond Milk. I also have the liquid lipsticks. These are the Stunner Lip Planes. So I have Unlocked, Uncuffed. This one is Uncensored. This is Undefeated, Unbutton, Unveil, and Uninvited. Did y'all realize that they were all on something? Hmm, who knew? The thing I don't like about these is you see how they separate? That's nasty. But these are actually really nice. They're thin, they apply well, great formulation, great pigmentation. I just don't like the shelf life of these. These are from Bobbi Brown. These are the Lux Liquid Lip High Shine. And the shades I have are Barely Nude 2, which is a beautiful nude. These are a little bit questionable. The matte formula for this is awful. This one is Red, Red the News number eight. These are sexy, like they're thick though, but they're very glossy and beautiful. The mattes are awful though, terrible. And then these are from By Beauty. These are the Amuse Bouge Lip whatever. These are no longer available, so it doesn't even matter. But these were like their liquid, their version of a lip lacquer or a liquid lip lacquer. This is the shade Clove. And then this one is also pretty. This one is Puree. This one is a darker, like muted orange shade. Over here I have some from Charlotte Tilbury, Smashbox, and a couple of like, miscellaneous shades in here. But yeah, tons of lipsticks to choose from in this drawer. But it's easy to see these because they all have their labels up and then I can read the names. So I love how this storage works out for these lipsticks. In this drawer here, I have most of my glitter and glow eyeshadows from Stila. These are their liquid eyeshadows. I also have the Smith & Cult Glitter Babies. And I have my Marc Jacobs palette, my Melt Stacks, and some of my Photo Edit Eye Trios from Smashbox. So like I said, this drawer has my Melt Stacks in here. So I have them all stacked on each other, but each of them have their individual caps so I can separate them if I wanted to. I purchased a few of the lids from the Melt Cosmetics website so I could take single shades around if I wanted to but these are my Melt Stacks and then I have the Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio so I have quite a few of these actually. This is Nudie Pick Deep, this is Night Shoot, Holy Crop, Nudie Pick Light and Nudie Pick Medium. I also have my Marc Jacobs palette here. So this one is Editorial. That's cute. Marc Jacobs always has like punny names. So this one has like that bright gold, a couple of greens, a couple of nudie browns. Hmm, fun shades. This is Scandalous, which has this berry shade, a couple of bronzes dark brown and champagnes and like really nudie shades. This is the Starlet. Oh, this is like a vintage gold. This has nudes as well. So this is like, I haven't swatched any of them, but just how you see them, they swatch pretty well. Marc Jacobs has a pretty decent formula, so you can't go wrong with the shades. This one is Smart Toriel, so it has Blue, like a dark forest green. Look at that blue. Oh yeah, and like a silver. This one is Frivolux, which has the purple shades. These shades, like touching them is, oh my God, heavenly because they're really soft. This, even though I'm like not big on purples, I like how these are like on the cool tone neutral side. I actually love, look at that taupe, yes. This is Glambition, which is one of the most everyday neutral ones you can probably pick up. And those are nice too, ooh. And then the last one is Provocateur. Um, yeah, still pretty. Um, that, ooh, no, mm -mm. I don't love a berry. I don't love a berry and a cherry, but 
yeah. Then over here I have all my Stila glitter and glows and I think they just started calling them liquid eyeshadows because you have like the shimmer and glow which is just the shimmery ones and then you have the glittery ones. So I have them kind of stacked on each other all over here. So you can just go through and find the shades. This is not necessarily the best way to find a color that you're looking for but I mean it works. So I have like a ton of them. And I probably have to go through these at some point to see if they've gone bad. And then I have, like I said, the Smith & Cult Glitter Babies as well. These are really stunning. Same price, same kind of formulation, or similar formulation, I should say. And then in this final drawer here are some of my smaller eyeshadow palettes and highlighters. So I have the Chrissy Teigen and Becca highlight contour, what is it, highlight contour and blush palette. This is the KVD Alchemist holographic palette. This one is a bronzer blush palette. I don't know what, what you call this from Lancome. It's actually really nice. I need to pull for this again because really stunning. This is my Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlighter in the shade Epic. I mean, why did I swatch it on my thumb? <laughs> Don't even ask me questions, but isn't that, look how stunning that is. And it's a subtle glow. It's not like in your face, but you can definitely build it up as well. But I like to blend things out and that just melts into my skin. It's so pretty. This is from Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder. This is the shade, what is this, Modern Mercury. Do you guys remember this highlighter? It's pretty and it melts into my skin. Love it. These are the Heroin Glow highlighters from Juvia's Place. This one is Heroin Glow 2 and this is Heroin 1. That's more gold. Then we have my Marc Jacobs. This is a bronzer contour duo. I used to wear this like nonstop. I don't know why I stopped. I have a couple of black up highlighters. This one is number two. This one is their Sublime Light. This is a Give Me Glow highlighter in Halo. This is like a signature highlighter from Give Me Glow. It's so stunning. I would use this as an eyeshadow though. Like never gonna put this on my face as a highlight like are you crazy samantha ravindal actually made me get this this is from nude sticks and they did a collection of lippy what are these considered these are just called what magnetic matte lip colors like some of them i didn't even open as you can see the plastic still on it when she swatched this on her channel i was like yes and these are really nice i need to actually pull these out i might put these in my nude lipstick drawer then these are my saharan blush palettes from juvia's place so we have volume one which is just a beautiful collection of deeper shades volume two has more subdued shades but still great for deeper skin tone but lighter skin tone can use this too then over here you might notice something a little bit hey, what huh all right hear me out hear me out hear me out i went to the store and I went to Morphe, I was swatching for like a shopping block video. I was like, let me swatch these things, let me see what I think. And I swatched this one specifically. This is the Flare palette. And it has four highlighters in here. Now, I was blown away by how beautiful, like beautiful these are. And they're smooth and they're stunning and they look great, okay? And I walked away, I was like, nope, nope. And I walked around like I was in the mall and I was like, oh my God, I love this. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. And I'm the clown that went and picked it up. Cause like these are, oh my God, I don't even want to say it, but she should have released these first because this, this, this wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. And I think it didn't get the hype that it, it would have gotten if this was her first release because those lipsticks, that girl has seriously like damaged her brand so much that pe I'm not even like interested in sharing like my thoughts on this. Like that's how much I just don't want to be bothered with her. I have a It Cosmetics contour book here. Do they still make these? Remember when contour palettes were like a thing? I got rid of most of mine but I kept that one from IT Cosmetics, so I'm gonna skip over that one. This one is a Becca 
highlighter palette that had like these were dual chromes oh oh becca this didn't get a lot of hype but like yes this is like a holographic palette and these were actually stunning i think becca does some great highlighters and I just, oh so stunning then i have my little palette from colored rain so this is the which one is this very cute this is smoke show i haven't really dug into these apart from like swatching them i haven't really gone ham on these i don't know like colored ray kind of fell off for me this is lovelies and this is beauty rust oh my god it's falling away but i don't know like i when i got these i like wasn't thrilled because to me the formula feels dry and i've tried better since so even though i like this formula and i like the brand i'm just i don't know like to me they're i'm just over them and i guess it's just moving with the times like th things change and i just move on i have this naked skin shape shifter palette which has the powders on one side and then creams on one side so i got both of these from urban decay but i kept this one because that was just more my skin tone and like i said i got rid of most of my contour like my contour palettes but i kept this one because i really liked it this is a oh my god this is a mac trio from a holiday collection and these were like what are they baked bronze i don't know but they're really stiff in the pan but they apply on the skin like butter butter so this bronzer is actually pretty nice oh my god and look at I, I like it and then of course mother pat sir highlighter trio which i love i adore this palette so this is iridescent pink fine gold and bronze nectar right these are stunning as well i mean mother pat knows what she's doing i'm into it so whoo and that is going to finish up this middle portion of my collection. Whew, that was quite a lot to go through, guys, but I love how these are organized. I love how everything fits. And again, I love having these acrylic drawers. They're so aesthetically pleasing. Like, I love coming in and seeing my makeup on display. And this way, I can keep everything nice and organized. I know where everything is. I know how to just grab and go. And I love these beauty boxes just because they have the different size drawers that allows me to organize different types of makeup in the drawers and still have them on display and these are the products that i will readily reach for because they are in plain sight i think the lip products especially are really ideal for storing in acrylic drawers because the colors are bam in your face right there no need to go digging around trying to find the shades they're right here and i put my most used products in different drawers so i know exactly where to go when i'm ready all right guys whoo that was a lot right right i didn't do it yet but i'm sure it was a lot because i'm already anticipating how long it's going to take me to go through that and i know it's already going to be a lot so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up a like a comment you know favorites do all that stuff and if you want to see part two i'm going to link it over here as soon as it goes live and i will link it down below also in the description box where you can check it out i will also leave links to my instagram twitter and snapchat where you can follow me along because we're not going to make this video any longer with a long outro and i love you guys stay safe and i will talk to you soon bye